Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back. And in this video, we are back on the PlayStation. So <laughs> it's kind of funny how we're gonna start doing these things now, right? Uh whether we're on a, whatever we're on PC or PlayStation, I'm still gonna play on both platforms, you already know. Uh, especially because you know my PS4 account does have quite of the amount of stuff that it, uh that we've had. Um that I, it's kinda hard to just to go and farm back up all of this gear. Uh, but yeah, anyways, guys, so we're back today, right? You know, another video, another day, another video is how your boy Cree rolls. But, uh, so for this video, right, I want to give a huge shout out, uh, to the homie. I think you say it right, Yuda. Uh, I'm very, I'm pretty bad with names, bro. I was that guy in class where the sub came up and they, and they asked like, yo, can, can you help me call roll? I'd be like, no, I can't even spell roll call. So don't ask me for questions. <laughs> uh, but anyways, let's see right here. Uh, Ryuta, I think, uh, Kunbar, Kunbr, Kun Battle Royale, I don't know how you say your name, homie, but, pretty sure that this weapon is courtesy of you, guys, we are using a DLC 1 weapon that doesn't really get talked about, hardly ever, most DLC 1 weapons don't really get talked about, uh, the only, like, DLC 1 weapon that I've, st uh, like, heard people talk about and still use to this day is the Ion Cannon, but I really feel like, uh, this gun that we have with us today is called the Craps Pistol, I really feel like that this gun deserves to be talked about, I mean, just a little bit more, right? So, first off, um, it's a torque pistol. Obviously, you know how torque pistols roll. You can uh, run between sticky or impact. Now, me, personally, uh, I always, always, always run most of my craps, most of my craps, most of my torque pistols in their, uh, in their sticky form, uh, especially when I'm doing bosses. That just seems like the way, like, the way better move to go. I was going to say smarter, but, you know. You know what I'm saying? It just seems like that that's the better of the better move. Uh, so you do have to have DLC one, and you're gonna want to go farm the jackpot at the end of the VIP tower. Uh, if you do want to get your hands on one of these, basically the uh, the way this gun works, uh, we'll go show you the legendary perk on it, whatever, is that this thing has a chance of shooting more than just one projectile up to a maximum of five five total four extra projectiles being the max so what i'm saying is so if we come up here right we shoot it once uh boom you see it's one sticky pellet we shoot it again more sticky pellets i'm trying to show some like extra stickies come on i know you got i know you want to show some, you know what here we'll do it like this here, here's the easy way to do it so we'll go on impact mode to show it off all right so that was a single impact now if we do it like this boom you see the uh the extra projectiles more extra projectiles you're picking up what i'm putting down now right okay cool so yeah there's the fiver uh but I, me personally i just do like to fire this thing in sticky mode regardless let's actually go ahead and show show this gun and show like all the perks that we're using on it so here we are we're on bullet buster mode here again now for this setup guys i did decide to go with a minesweeper just mainly because it's it's a torque pistol with a six round clip uh we get we were up to nine with our pearl mag size but other than that like yeah dude you're probably only gonna run a minesweeper uh for sure because i'm not gonna be able to make full use of our blast master like i could with our anarchy and our flipper uh and then i'm just using a transformer bro i'm, I'm, using, I'm, I'm using a transformer what's up bro i want all the shock uh then we have our cmt then we have our pearl, and then here's our uh, our tree, a very very sim uh, standard bullet buster mode tree that we use here. It's a double capstone most build people, <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. But anyways, though guys, with that being said, uh, we're gonna go ahead, guys, and we're gonna get right into it. All right, so here we are. We are at Gravy Train. Uh, I figured that uh, a good the grave grave ward gravy train whatever dude Josh uh, sometimes you know English really do be hard it would be a good spot to show uh, where this thing could be good at so let's go ahead uh, it's actually you know we'll just oh yeah right forgot uh, minesweepers and extra projectiles can do stuff like that yeah bless yeah dude <sighs> see this is why the crabs needs a little bit more a uh, little bit more appreciation just a little bit just just a little bit. Um, let me uh, plug in my con uh, my charger and we're gonna keep this thing moving y'all all right y'all so I figured that I would literally spend maybe just a minute or two at max over here at the Jacobs estate I did have someone recently comment they would like to see some oh let me uh, not be a noob here and blow myself up with a barrel but I did have some uh, comments recently saying that they did want to see some uh, gameplay over here we still have not reloaded this thing so yeah let's uh, go ahead and do that uh, so yeah, I figured uh, that we could spend just a little bit of our time over here. Oh man, 
uh, obviously, uh, you know, these things, the crabs can be a little, you know, we'll actually throw, so well, let's throw on the, uh, the impact, see how the impact does on, on here. Let me, uh, blow up that barrel. Yeah, you can't play a player, baby. Yeah, so, uh, for mobbing, right? This thing, um, I mean, dude, I feel like this pistol is one that can, that, that can definitely do it all, right? Especially with the sticky and the impact, bro. Okay, yeah, for sure, impact on the mobs, bro. These are some more, like, higher tier mobs, too. Uh, like, yeah, Jacob's Estate, these are COV mobs, you know, a lot of people get triggered by COV enemies because they're just naturally a little bit more tanky. Also, you know, again, some of these that have the, uh, <laughs> no health, no no shield, no armor, you know what I'm saying? Our fine skag can just, just choose right through those uh, uh, health bars. Okay, dude, I feel like I'm gonna have to need to make a, a build on this thing. I might want to make a build using the crabs. It's just kind of insane. And we haven't even gone into Iron Bear like that yet. And that's what the anointment is, dude. Let's go ahead and uh, let's actually... Let's go do a little bit of dabbling in the Guardian takedown. And then uh, we're just going to do the... Okay, we're going to clear the first set of enemies on, before the first door opens in the Guardian takedown. And then we're going to go finish up in the uh, Malawan takedown. I feel like it's a good area where to show this thing uh, against some tougher mobs. And then we'll show it uh, against the Malawan takedown. So I'll see y'all in just a bit. All right, y'all. So now we are actually here at the Guardian take them down thing. <laughs> so... Did my iron bear just get one shotted? It did. No, it didn't. Okay, I just got out of it. I thought for somehow like it got knocked back and got one shotted somehow. I was like low-key kind of confused. Alright. So I guess one bad thing about the craps is that it's a little bit uh, it challenges to uh, snipe out the buddy systems. But that's okay. I can forgive it for that. Oh this thing's actually kind of in kind of a bit of kind of insane. This thing's actually a little bit on the uh, retarded side, in a good way though. The amount of explosions this, this, this thing can cause, and I gotta give it props, bro. This thing's actually really good. How many people do y'all know that actually talks about this gun? I don't know hardly anyone that talks about the craps. And that's a darn shame, man. This gun, this gun's really good. Now we are using a uh, a very uh, how should I say a friendly Mo's build for this, but we do that for all showcases, right? For most of the showcases, I try to show them. Uh, with a somewhat not terrible setup and on a vault hunter that they're generally going to be good on so like for most of the time for splash weapons i will always or i i don't want to say always but i will say most of the time i like to think i do a good job and showcase them on mo's and then obviously every single if we have any like sh any shotgun that we get any jacob's weapon that we get most of the time, any sniper, most of the time, any sniper that we get, what do we get? What do we showcase that puppy on? We showcase that puppy on flak. So I don't think it's a, it's fair to say like that, that I'm only, uh, that I'm catering to this thing because like I do that for every single uh, gun that we showcase, right? Like when have y'all seen me showcase a freaking Jacob's weapon on, on most, right? Like I've, I've never, I've never done that. <laughs> I've never done that ever, right? Now, I, there's been a few times, right, like my first, uh, the first time we ever showcased a flipper, right? I showcased that on flat, granted, that was day one of the Bounty of Blood DLC, and uh, I didn't, uh, I didn't, that was literally before, I, I never put that gun on Moe's before that video. Uh, but obviously, the most re recent flipper showcase video, that was on the 200%, not the 5151. Uh, you will see that uh, we definitely uh, went to ham with that flipper in this, uh, on this very takedown. All right, so this door's open. It's time to head to the Malawan takedown. Let's go ahead, do it, and uh, yeah, I'll see y'all over there. All right, boys. Now we're back. We are at. We are here in the Malawan uh, on the Wild Malawan shmakedown, right? We have our crabs. It's kind of hungry, so it's gonna go on a bit of a killing spree here. Uh, I'm trying not to blow myself up with that barrel because barrels are never fun to uh, you know blow myself up with because the barrels, uh, as we all know that. Yeah, flamethrower heavyweight, suck it. Y'all still die. Uh, as I just down myself. It's all good, dude. We're gonna snipe this jetpack commando and pick ourselves back up because that's what we do. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. War dog, sit down. Sorry. Wow, uh, we're we're already moving into this part. Okay, dude, this is actually getting kind of insane. So now the hammer down protocols never like do insane amounts of damage by themselves to the kraken, uh, but they sure as hell do great work at clearing everything out. And we don't have corrosive AC on right now. That'd be a little bit a smarter idea. Uh, probably put on uh, but we're gonna do that for Wotan uh, Valkyries they, they, they don't have as much health so we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling Valkyries y'all are like low-key super duper boring just a little bit boring it's okay dude I love dude our crap slaps the crap slaps dude I've, I would totally use that as a title but I've already used that title way back in the day I think 
I think it was actually one of the uh, videos I used when I went over, I went out of town for Pack South before this coronavirus pandemic broke out, boys. I think that was actually the last time I actually made a video on the craps. Because I know we've not done, I don't think we've done an M10 video on this. I'm pretty sure I would remember doing a May M10 uh, showcase for, for the craps. But, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, as you can see right now, this thing's kind of killing it. Just a little bit. Like, just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy, but just, you know, just, just a little bit. It's kind of like, whoa. Man, bro, you know what they should have done with this thing? They should have made it to where you could shoot either 7 or 11 shots with the uh, full projectile count. I think 7 or 11. That would have fit the name a little bit better than five. You know what I'm saying? If you, you know what I'm saying, if if you if you know what I'm saying, <laughs> if you don't, if you know, if you know, if you don't, you don't. You're good. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's one thing I do love about uh, explosive pistols and well, torque weapons. <laughs> Is that repulse commandos, bro? You can't bounce a bomb back at me. You can't bounce that back at me, you bitch. Pulse Commandos can't bounce that, you know what I'm saying? Jesus, this thing's on a kill spree right now. Fucking snipe, bitch. <laughs> we snipe that stupid Death Sphere, you know. These things, these guys, these battles think they got the chance. Nope. We have a fire weapon, or kinetic weapon that's uh, only getting fire and radiation. Uh, ASC, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah. This gun's good. <laughs> like, bro, I knew this gun was going to be good before we even started playing with it because I thought this gun was super good when it first came out. I just thought it was just, you know, getting a little slept on. Yeah, blow everything up. I'm telling you, dude. It's a, the extra projectiles you can get, especially with firing the skag den on most. Oh, man, they just uh, had a little too much. It's kind of disgusting. Oh, yeah, and, you know, short fuse kind of helps with the uh, massive amounts of explosions that we're uh, putting down uh, on, the, on the enemy. You love to see it, dude. You love to see it. At least I do. Everything's just getting sent down, bro. Everything. Even heavyweights, they don't even stand a chance. Battle wolves, they don't stand a chance. You're a badass battle wolf, bro. I have no corrosive on. You just get instantly melted. Just, you what's up? You want some smoke, homie? You want some smoke? You can have it. You're dead. Just like, bro. Y'all need, yeah, bro. Bro, the craps, bro. The craps is, like, actually stupid. <laughs> this gun's too good. No, it's not. It's perfect. Leave it. Luckily, brother, you never hear Gearbox nerfing things like the craps or the auto aim or the heartbreaker or the slow hand. So, yeah, uh, this dude, this gun's sick, bro. My, I got all my fingers intact. The knife goes chop, chop, chop. Wow, we blew him up that fast. Badass Spec Ops Heavyweight. Fire. All right. I'm not going to throw any grenades. God, seriously, homie. Seriously, you gotta, you gotta bullet rush me, bro. Really, really. You know what? Fuck you. Have some grenades. Fucking dick. You know what? And have some of those, bitch. Sorry. Those guys just kind of annoy me, just a little bit, bro. You know what I'm saying? I get it. You're immune to my fire, and then you want to run right at me and fucking sit me down like I'm your fucking dog, but I'm not. All right, let's go ahead and get her. Let's go get us our corrosive ASC. Let's flip this puppy on to sticky, icky, sticky, icky, icky, sticky. Uh, and then, yeah, dude. Let's just, uh, I guess, dude, we're going to see how we do here. Oh, sticky. There we go. All right, sticky. All right. These things are kind of dumb, man. But it's in a good way, you know? Y'all ever had a friend that was dumb in a good way? It's all good. He's gonna jump back down.
Y'all see something hilarious? Watch this. <laughs> Not enough space for Iron Man bullshit. <laughs> All right, dude. Um. Oh yeah, dude, I'm gonna blow up you first. You're done, son. You're done, you're done. We got all the stickies over there. Sticky, 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 sticky. Yes, the crabs! <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. These get I gotta break these legs like a like a true uh, Borderlands player. Okay, maybe the crabs isn't the best at blowing those things up on sticky mode. It's all good. Hello? You. You! Gearbox needs to get away from enemies designed like this guy. And they should not have 12 um, immunity phases either. Okay, well, now you're just dead. You, you're just dead now. You're dead. You're dead. You, 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 let me, you let me stack too many stickies, bro, on your forehead. So you died. All right. Let me go ahead. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Uh, that buddy system was just tailing that, uh, that, uh, the brain. So uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. Uh, run over everything real quick, you know what I'm saying? So look, y'all. The craps is stupid. In a great way, though. Like, y'all need to get your hands on this one, dude. 14k base damage? Oh, man. Level 60? This thing's disgusting. I know we used a Minesweeper, but even if we use a Blastmaster, like, and we were able to play with the, the mag, it would still completely derp. Derp? It would dump all over the content. The grabs are just stupid good, plus Moses on such a good spot along with Fire and Skagden being overwhelmingly powerful. Uh, and, you know, we do have quite the extra splash damage, which, you know, kind of helps. Uh, anyways, though, guys, hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, then go ahead and drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new. Also, while you're at it, go ahead and give that bell down there a little bit of a love tap for me. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, guys, we're gonna be doing some more showcases. Obviously, every single day we post uh, we post here daily Borderlands 3. That's what we do. Probably streaming later today on the PC side of the game. And yeah, with that being said, though, guys, my name's Cree. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody. You are the one, also.